data for yourself. This here is out of CNN, and it says, Pope visits the holy site of the Sermon on the Mount, and see on his background is the upside-down cross. And remember, they crucified all those who had scripture or caught with scripture. The Christians, they'd hang them upside down and crucify them. And here's an old painting right here of a Christian being crucified upside down for, being, for going against the will of the Pope. And if you read Revelations 13:11, it says, "And behold, another beast coming up, coming up out of the earth, and ha and he had two horns like a lamb, and he spoke as a dragon." And look at that, two horns like a lamb. You just have to look at their hat sideways, and they throw it in your face. Looky here. Here's the Pharaoh being carried in procession. As you see here, the Pharaoh has a great big hat. And there's a big fan right here. The fan is not for keeping flies away. It was known as the mystic fan of Bacchus and was the symbol of Pharaoh's authority. And as you look in this photograph here, you see the Pope with his big hat. And he has two Bacchus fans of Pharaoh's authority. And he's being carried in procession. And here you see him being carried in procession. And here's the Pope, his big hat, and there's the Bacchus fan of uh, the Pharaoh's authority. And so here you see that they incorporate the older New World Order kingdoms into the next New World Order kingdom up. Getting back to the worship of the sun, which is Baal worship, we will show you a few things the Catholic Church is doing. Here you see the Pope carries the wafer inside the sunburst. And here you can get a closer view of the uh, sunburst there. And this is supposed to be the, the Jesus. And here it's represented by the S-U-N uh, instead of the S-O-N. Here you see the Pope wearing the little suns all over his uniform. Here you see on the, on the Pope's sleeve, the sun, and here is the H I H S inside the sun, sun symbol, and it represents the pagan Egyptian chief deities, Isis, Horus, and Seb. And so here you can see that they're incorporating the New World Order Kingdom, Egypt, into their uniform. Here you see the sun, the sun, S-U-N, image over St. Peter's tomb in St. Peter's Basilica in the Vatican. And you can see how big it is. It just dwarfs every other idol inside St. Peter's Basilica. And there you go. Right below the sun's image is St. Peter's tomb, where supposedly his bones are laid in this coffin. Here are the symbols of the pagan sun. This is the obelisk, represents the sun god, worshiping the sun. And here within the wheel, you see the old uh, Baal, worshiping the sun symbols that are found in uh, Babylon here and here and you can see right in here the same symbol of the wheel and the worship of the sun and these two are found uh, at, the, at the University of Illinois which is this one and this one is found in the British Museum the pagan sun god the Baal worship that God forbids us to worship and they put it right in the middle of St. Peter's uh, Square here you see the reverse side of a coin celebrating the pontiff John Paul II. And on it is the obelisk and the sun wheel. As you see there is the obelisk and the sun wheel and the sun rays. There's another view of the sun god over St. Peter's uh, bones in his coffin. This is the tomb of Pope Gregory VIII. With and you notice the dragon on his tomb. And if you read Revelations 12, 3, 
4 and 9, chapter 12, it talks about, Behold, a, red, a, a great red dragon, and the dragon stood before the woman, and the dragon was cast out, that old serpent called the devil and Satan. So here, the, the great dragon is represented by the devil. And he is responsible for the, our calendar that we use today. So what we use today is the Roman calendar, and he was the one who changed it, and it's famous. It's called the, Gre the Gregorian calendar. Here you see the coat of arms of one of the popes, and here you see the, the great red dragon, or the Lucifer is what the dragon represents in uh, Revelations chapter 12. This is a painting here inside the Vatican, and it's Constantine's visions of the cross. It was a pivotal movement in the conversion of pagan Rome to Christianity. The dragon that was painted as being a symbolic of ancient pagan Rome, right here. Now we're going to get into the true meaning of Christmas that Pope Gregory has on his calendar and how it all got started. And how did the Pope derive Christmas? Well, let's go back into history. The Queen of Babylon, the Samarimus, ordered the world to celebrate the birth of her son, Tammuz. Of course, he was the sun god, Baal, representing Satan. She set December 25th for Baal's birthday. Her astrologers told her that the sun is at its furthest point from the earth during the winter solstice. So they told, so they were to, so they told the people that on the 21st of December the sun or Baal dies. Then on the 24th of December he starts coming back to life, and the 25th is his birthday. As time passed all over the world on the 25th of December, the sun was worshipped by these various names, Tammuz, Horus, Horus, Sol, etc. Samarimus uh, ordered trees to be decorated with little balls representing the sun. God fought this evil holiday by forbidding the Jews to decorate trees as the heathens were doing, Jeremiah 10. 1 through 4. Read it for yourself. It's funny how we run out in the morning uh, as the sun is rising, as it's giving birth, coming up out of the east, how we run out under the tree and, and celebrate by opening our presence. And the Lord God says, my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. This is the official Arlington Catholic Herald newspaper, the issue of 1223 2004, and, the, and the, the, the question was, was Christ really born on December 25th? Listen to what the article has to say, their, their own Catholic newspaper. It says, the Roman pagans used to gather at the hill where the Vatican is presently located to commemorate the birth of the unconquered sun, S-U-N, this pagan feast. Continuing in the article, some historians credit Constantine, who declared Sunday as a day of rest in the empire, with, repl with replacing the pagan festival with that of Christmas. The article goes on to say, in practice, Christmas was celebrated in Rome by Pope Liberius in 352. Pope Gregory IV decided the date of Halloween in 835 A.D. Halloween is the day before Catholic religion celebrates All Souls Day. All Souls Day was a day filled with prayer for the souls who died, for those in hell, the apostates who left the church, the Protestants. And the people banged on pots on Halloween to let the people in hell, the Protestants, know that they were not forgotten. The people started